Hi, Andrea here, 30 here, and welcome to my video on the World Border Commands. So, um, I'm, this is going to be mainly focused on, like, doing stuff for UHCs, um, I'm going to leave up the rest of the commands for you to watch Sethling. I'll put a link in the description, if I remember, to Sethling's video, let me game mode myself and give me steak. Okay, I am currently a snapshot 14W26C, but any snapshot will work, um, well, any snapshot since the world border command. One second. Alright, so, um, one more second. Uh, um, alright, there we go. So, um, so, this will be our command that we're going to be using the most. In fact, I'm just going to game mode myself because there's no reason not to game mode myself for this video. First of all, um, that this isn't like for, don't, don't blame me if something goes wrong or something like that. Um, so I'm just going to, well, if something goes wrong, I think, but like if you tell me that my methods for doing this is horrible, then that's not something that I like. So, um, I first TP myself to zero, zero. Let me, wow, a lot of lag. Yep, well, this is a single player world on the snapshot, so, yeah. I'll be right back to see if this goes away. Alright, so it did help a little bit. So, um, I am at uh, pretty much zero zero, so I shall stay on one of these trees. And first of all, for a world border command, you want the world border to be centered at zero zero, correct? So that um, so that all the players that are scattered, well, the world border will slowly move in towards the center, and that the center is where um, usually the final battles happen. So slash world border set zero zero. Wait, oh, no, 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 it's not. Oh, wow, lag. That was a ton of lag, sorry about that. So, no, it's not world border set, it's world border center zero zero. That does not actually, that doesn't actually create the world border, but it, um, but it makes, wait a second, do I? Damage warning, okay. Um, that centers it, like, you can, if I type in this, you can center it at any coordinates. But I'm centering it at zero, zero. So now what do you want to do is slash world border set. But let me TP do 100, zero, 100, 100, 100. Let me show you a common thing that I did. Let me get out of creative. And I shall do slash world border set 100. See? So, since I set it to, uh, I would, you would think that if I set it, set, um, set it to a hundred, then it would be, um, that it would be a hundred by a hundred, and that, that, um, that wouldn't, that, um, it, that it would be a hundred by a hundred, and, um, I could, I would survive that. However, if I press at the F3 and I'm rocking towards the world border, you should see that my Z is capping at approximately well close enough to negative 50. And if I fly to the other side of the world border, it should be capping at 50. Yes, right here. So, um, you might be wondering, well, if that's 100 by 100, but this is 50 by 50, but it actually is not, let me slash T, 0, 100, 0, um, that is actually, what you want to do is take the world border, like the number of blocks you want it to be by, like, let's say it's 100 by 100, and then multiply one of those numbers by two. For example, that would be world border 200. 
So if I type in World War Cell 100, you divide by 2, and you would get slash World Order. Well, you would get 50. And that was what it did. You got a 50 by 50 World Order. If you want a 100 by 100 World Order, you want to actually multiply it by 2 and set it to 200. And, um, okay, so that is, um, comes to conceptions about the slash world border command. And before I end this video, I will demonstrate one more thing. Let me TP to zero, zero again. And let me go to, so usually the, um, for at least for Minecraft UHC 16, I believe, that's when they started using slash world border for their UHCs. Um, I said Minecraft, right? Oh, I just wanna, I just wanted to make sure you knew that it was Minecraft. So anyway, um, they set it to, I think, a thousand by a thousand. So I'll set it to 2,000. And now, what you wanna do is, let's say you want a shrinking border like they had. And, but, however, if you just set, like, it was 200 by 200, I think, and if you just set it to 400, it'll, well, for demonstration purposes, I think I'll set it to 10, well, like 40. Just so that you can see, um, just so that you can see the, um, see the stuff happening closely. So if I set it to 40, and then I set it to 10, you'll see that it sets it immediately. But you don't want that. You want it to be a shrinking border that shrinks over time. So, if you type in slash world border set, size and blocks, time in seconds. So this is for the shrinking border. So what you want to do first of all is take the maximum amount of blocks the world border will be set at, then you want to set it at, um, you want to type in the um, minimum amount of blocks and then time in seconds. Let's say, this would be for a real UHC, but let's say you want it to be set to 10 and for it to, um, be over 30 seconds like from here 30 seconds afterwards to go to 10 now you do that and you should see that the world border change in color since I'm colorblind partially I cannot tell you which color that is but I can tell you that that is the that is what it looks like when um, it is moving so in 30 seconds it should stay at its original position And there. Wow, lag. So, um, yeah, that. Let me turn off the sound. Well, I want to. I want to know what was lagging. Yeah, the sound lags. So I'm gonna turn this. Well, the music lags rather. So, um, now it is changed back to the bluish color, I think, or whatever. So, um. That, now that it's changed, that was 30 seconds, and it is now set at 10 by 10. So let me just, for example, if you wanted to do slash world, uh, if you wanted to set it at 1000 by 1000, you'd do 2000, and then they had 400 by, 200 by 200, I believe. So you want to do 400, and that it shrunk over a course of 3 hours, I think. So 60 times 60 times 3 is 10,800 from the calculator. Um, so 10,800, and then it would shrink to 400 blocks over 10,800 seconds. So it would still shrink, but it would be shrinking at a very, very low speed. I think that I will leave the rest of the UHC tutorial to Seth Bling in his video, which I will hopefully link in the description. So, um, thanks for watching, and I will see you in my next video.